when fitting walkers have the patient stand. If the height is not correct, have the patient sit first, then adjust. Walkers are usually adjusted at the legs with a push button or other mechanical device. Any assistive device that is too short or too tall can encourage bad posture and limit the effectiveness of the elbow extensors and shoulder depressors. Once the desired height is achieved, have the patient stand to confirm the fit of the device. Notice that the device is level with the wrist crease and allows 20 to 30 degrees of elbow flexion when grasped. To properly fit a cane, follow the same procedures as fitting a walker. Verify the fit by having the patient stand to ensure the cane reaches the level of the greater trochanter or wrist crease. Axillary crutches have two adjustments. To adjust overall length, have the patient stand with good posture and the crutch tip four to six inches from the small toe. The height of the crutch should be adjusted first by using push buttons similar to the walker and cane. A proper fit will allow two to three fingers between the axilla and the axillary pad posteriorly. After the height is adjusted, adjust the distal hand grips using the screw mechanism so that it is level with the patient's wrist crease and allows 20 to 30 degrees of elbow flexion when gripped.